Good morning. Well, kind of morning. It's 1030. It is July 1st. I am in Damascus. Walking down to the post office. Got to mail a couple things home. I'm also going to get myself some coffee. Possibly a milkshake before I get on the trail today. Uh, it's windy. There is apparently the mother of all storms rolling in. The rest of today and all night long and into tomorrow, we're going to get absolutely hammered with rain. Yeah, I took a strategic day here in Damascus at the uh, Broken Fiddle Hostel because I want to see Grace and Highlands with really good weather. So that is why I did that. But hang on, truck. But that being said, after it rains today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday and all the way through Wednesday, I believe, weather's supposed to be gorgeous, you know, mid 70s, high 50s at night, you know, perfect camping weather. So, you know, I'm gonna see what I can do here, take care of a few things before I get back on the trail. No matter what, I'm getting wet today. You know, it is what it is. I got a waterproof bag for a reason. I got rain gear if I feel like putting it on. But I think at a certain point, I'm just gonna be a level of moist. So I gotta deal with it. But the plan is to be 15.7 uh, miles today up to Lost Mountain Shelter. That's the idea. And the only reason I'm even thinking about stopping at a shelter is because, you know, I don't wanna set up my tent in the rain. And tomorrow night, I'll see where I am. Uh, tomorrow, definitely by tomorrow, I'm going to do the miles to get to Grayson Highland State Park, or the border of the park itself. So i got to get in here, get a couple things taken care of, and I will check back in when I 100% know what today's plan is. Okay. So it is noon. Back there behind me is the Wicked Chicken. It's a good wing stop if you want to get some good munchies. But uh, yeah, so we're hiking. Um, the sky's starting to look really, really crappy. I'm not too excited about. I'm not going to put on my raincoat yet. I'm going to see how far I can get before things really start to dump. Um, you know, it is what it is. Again, the, the plan is to do 15.7 by this afternoon. Uh, I don't know, there's a couple good climbs in here. That might be kind of, it might offset my pace a bit. I'm gonna try and keep my speed up, do what I gotta do, get to where I gotta be. And uh, if I can get there by about seven o'clock, that would be ideal. Either way, it's going to be a long day. So, when it starts to rain, I'm not going to film anymore. Just because we're in the green tunnel pretty much all day. And if I see any critters or anything, I might bring out the phone, but today might just be a day of walking. Which I need once in a while. So... We're gonna get up to the junction here, cut up into the mountains, and then we'll see what's up. Well, got good news and I got bad news. Good news is it finally cooled off a little bit. Bad news is the rain came early. I'm standing under a couple of maple trees. There's pretty good cover right here, but it's definitely coming down. I'm starting to get wet. So I just wanted to do a little update. I'm at the uh, almost at the top of the first uh, two climbs for the day, about three and a half miles in. It's about one o'clock, 1.15-ish. I'll be up there by about 1.30 at the, at the very latest, but I'm still taking the climb slow. The new pack and new, new gear are great. I mean, I'm not complaining at all. My weight is significantly less than it was, but climb still whooped me even when I was just uh, slack packing with the day packs 
I was uh, slowing down on the uphills, but the good news is the downhills are easier on that. I mean, it, uh, all that weight off my feet is just, it makes the impacts on the downhills so much easier. Feet still hurt at the end of the day and puppies are still barking, but I recover a lot faster and I don't feel quite nearly as worn out when I stop hiking for the day. So, especially after downhills. But I gotta keep going up this little mess right here. And uh, yeah, it's starting to get wet. But if it dries out a little, if there's a break, I'll try and bring, bring you back. Otherwise, I'll probably end up seeing you once I get to my really rain in the sun. This is weird. Anyway, I'll probably see you when I get to uh, wherever I'm ending up for the night. So I'll be back. I'll be back. Man, this was supposed to be a view. What a letdown. All I can see is the other side of the valley. I mean, it's pretty. It's a valley, but that was hardly worth it. Uh, darn it. Oh well. Gotta keep going. Okay. So I've reached the split to go back up the AT, which goes up the hill. Keep going that direction. It goes down to the Virginia Creeper Trail after, after about a half mile. But up this way, it's a switchback hell for the next two miles. Gotta go up about a thousand feet, 1100 feet, I think to Saunders Shelter, which is, again, in, it says 2. miles, gut hook says it's 1.9, I don't know. I tend to trust the signage more than I trust gut hook, but either way, uh, the sky's looking pretty crappy. Um, and not gonna lie, it looks pretty crappy. Uh, I'm gonna see what the weather's like when I get up to where the Saunders Shelter is. I may have to make an executive decision and stay there tonight if it's too nasty, uh, especially if the you know, weather just opens up. Because, I mean, I've heard estimates today between uh, um, oh, sorry, between one and a half to two inches all the way up to four or five. Part of me is not happy with this right now, climbing this hill, because I don't want to be on a ridge line. In thunderstorms, you know how I feel about that. But uh, I still think if I can get to a shelter instead of actually having to set up a tent and the weather that's coming, I think I might be better off. But we're gonna get up this darn hill. All 17 switchbacks of it. 650 feet per mile grade. <sighs> I did not sleep well last night. But you do what you got to do. Yeah, the hostel is this. Love the hostel. You know, uh, Broken Fiddle was a great place to stay. But when they say you can't set the air conditioner any lower than 72 degrees, I'm sorry. That, that, that's not cool. I used to keep my house at 65. Yeah, so. And being in the bunk room. I couldn't strip down to my skivvies and stay in the band bed, so, so I didn't sleep so well. But either way, that's neither here nor there. I'm back on the trail again, obviously. I'm enjoying the day. Uh, I've managed to stay dry, not counting me sweating up until now, so I'm, I'm going to see what happens. Uh, it's probably going to take me about an hour to get to that uh, next shelter in two miles because this is it's uphill and... If the sky opens up, it'll slow me down even more. So I'm going to get going. And we shall see what happens when I get there. Do you notice what I noticed? Not a single leaf here is quivering. For as nasty as that sky looks, and as much thunder as I've been hearing, there is no air moving. So, this is the first time I can officially say 
I have witnessed the calm before the storm. There, there's nothing moving here. This climb is gnarly. But if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I think I can get up to Sondra's shelter before this opens up. I'm hoping. I am hoping. Yeah, I didn't make it. Thor really let the hammer fly on this one. This is a hell of a storm. I'm about a quarter mile away. I'm gonna check in when I get to the shelter. Yeah, this is a good storm. The freaking river running down the path down here to the, the shelter. It's already got a lake forming over here. I'm by myself. I'm just trying to dry out my gear. Yeah, I'm I'm probably shacking up here for the night. Trying to dry off. But uh, define drowned rat. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm going to change out of my wet clothes. I'm going to start cooking something warm to eat. And, uh, yeah, I'm shacking up here for the night. I'm not dealing with this. Not on a ridge line. There's a lot of lightning now and a lot of thunder. And I don't play that game. It's a safety thing. It's not a pride thing. I would have loved to have gotten to Lost Mountain today, but that's another, like, six point something miles. That was the plan, but I'm not messing around with my safety. So uh, I'm gonna get changed out and uh, I'll get back with you. Okay, well, I've changed, I've eaten, I've warmed up, and I've gotten squared away for the night. So, shelter's back there. <sighs> A couple dudes from Michigan showed up. And a trio of ladies also set up camp a little bit farther out. They put up a tent. Uh, so everyone's just trying to dodge the rain today. Um, it came back. This is the first uh, real break we've had in about three and a half hours of rain. Um, so I'm out here in just my umbrella. But it's supposed to start coming down again in probably about an hour and a half. Uh, there's no signal up here, so I can't get any updates on the weather or the radar, which kind of sucks. But uh, sometimes these things happen. But uh, for the day, did nine point something. Didn't do nearly as much, so I only made it to the uh, the Saunders shelter. That was that first shelter out of uh, downtown Damascus. Uh, was gonna try and get to Lost Mountain, another 6.7 from here, but that wasn't happening. So that being said, tomorrow I am going to be doing like an 18.4. I'm gonna be getting up early. Uh, probably try and get hiking no later than seven o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be hiking in the in the rain to start, but you know, I knew that was gonna happen. I just didn't want to be hiking close to dark because uh, it would have gotten really cold, and it's just it's it, it's a safety thing. It, it is a safety thing out here. Um, so tomorrow morning it's gonna be a new day, and it's gonna be a great one. So. Yeah, nothing really else to say, but uh, you have a great evening, and I'll catch you tomorrow.